G'day, g'day screen tappers. All right, day number, what am I up to? Day number 11, almost halfway of my 30 days, turning up every day to talk to you about composition, photo composition. Now, it is smartphone photography training, but these tips are transferable between Android, iPhone, iPad, tablet, mirrorless, DSLR, doesn't matter what you're using, these are transferable. So the skills that you're picking up here equally apply to when you switch devices or upgrade your devices. These are kind of lifelong skills that uh, that we're going through, which is really exciting. And uh, all right, so today we're going to talk about symmetry. What is symmetry? Why would you use it? How you can use it? How you can create symmetry out of nothing, which is pretty cool, because uh, I'm all about trying to be creative and learning to look at opportunities and see things. So that's what we're covering, symmetry. Today, so the symmetry we're going to cover, there's lots of different types of symmetry. The symmetry we're going to cover is uh, vertical and horizontal symmetry. And I'm going to throw in an extra one, reflections. We're going to talk about reflections too, because reflections is really kind of horizontal symmetry. <laughs> uh, when I say that, symmetry in its definition is you can split it in half and f have a photo split it in half, fold it up and go, turn inside out, inside out, flip it over with transparent paper and go, oh, it's the same. Uh, a bit like when we were in kindergarten, preschool, uh, whatever it's called in your country, where you have your, 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 have your paint and your finger paint on one side and then you fold it in half, you slap it down and then you open it up and there's a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> we've, we've all done that, haven't we? So that's that's what I'm talking about when I talk about symmetry is that the, it is a mirrored image on both sides. Now, it doesn't have to be precise. It doesn't have to be exact. Uh, it can be. It can be a little bit off. It doesn't have to be. It's all about identical, like parts being the same. But why it works so well is that the visual weight is identical on both sides. Now, uh, later on, I'll talk about uh, uh, asymmetry. I think I've got that one in my list here. Asymmetrical um, balance. So asymmetrical balance is not the opposite of symmetry. It's basically visual weight, different elements, different sizes, different emphasis, yet with the use of space that we talked about the other day, you can still create that visual balance and that uh, becomes asymmetrical. So, okay, so it's not one of those scenarios where I'm gonna break that rule, but you're actually making a new rule. Like that's two totally different things. So symmetry, like I said, uh, so reflections of puddles, Go to Instagram, look up uh, hashtag, hashtag puddlegram. You can find some amazing shots in there where people, and I've and I've done this in my workshops. You walk around with a bottle of water and find a spot and go. That's gonna look. That would look fantastic if there was. If only there was a puddle there. <laughs> Pour your water and make your own puddle, and then <laughs> and it works. And it's good fun. It's good fun. So what you do is you then have your phone and you turn it upside down so the lens is down the bottom. Hold it down really close, and uh, and then shoot across the water, and you can get some beautiful um, horizontal symmetry shots that way. Another way is is off water, so you can be at this amazing location where you have a uh, the water's nice and still, or use a, a long exposure app uh, on the Android long exposure. Is it called? Uh, Anyway, there's not too many great options out there for Androids. I would rather use a filter, a neutral density filter, and slow down the shutter speed. With the iPhone, even longer is my favorite app now for long exposures. You, you're spoiled with choice there. And then that will actually smooth the water, make the water look really smooth. And then where the reflection comes into it, where the symmetry comes into it, is when you frame it so that it's the horizon is smack bang in the middle, and then what's above the horizon will be reflected in the, um, in the bottom. Now, that only works for... Things that are nice and close, like a pier, can work really nice. And when you've got the sun behind you, making the pier really bright, and then you'll get a nice bright reflection below. All right, so that's horizontal, vertical symmetry. You can capture a, a photo like like this one, okay, in in Paris. That uh, it took me ages to try and find a nice symmetrical <laughs> alignment there, and. Uh, and then I've just processed that with a little bit of teal and, and orange, just to, I, I love that combination, that uh, cinematic look. So that split down the middle and is, is perfectly symmetrical. 
because when you when you're there, it, everything is kind of just slightly off. <laughs> so it was really frustrating. It's like I know there's a shot here, <laughs> and by the time I found it, it was almost dark, which actually worked out really well because the colours came out. It was it was uh, it was uh, perfect timing, totally planned. So that's an example of uh, a vertical symmetry. And another way is to if you're in an urban area where there's a lot of glass um, walls, reflective walls. Uh, Cafes are awesome. I love cafes because you can get the reflection. You're going to get the person inside. You might be able to shoot and get just the right lighting or a polarizing filter on top of your, your phone. You can kind of see through, get a bit of the story, but then get a nice symmetry with the reflection of the two. So you get the other side of the street. or So you just position your phone so that that point where it's mirrored is as close as you can get it to the middle point vertical or horizontal that's the key to a symmetry is to try and get that point where it's where the reflection is or, or whatever to uh, yeah be in the middle so that it's you get that visual weight like I said that person inside the cafe you might be able to just see see them on one side of it and that and that's okay uh, now I said you could do this in in any environment uh, you can create your own symmetry so the way I do that it's an iOS app it's called reflect by brain Meva uh, Brain Fever Media, get that right. <laughs> uh, it's okay, they're not sponsoring it. Doesn't matter, I butcher their name. <laughs> so that's a that's a brilliant app. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I haven't used it for some time. I'm going to put myself on the spot here. On uh, okay, all right. What I might do it doesn't work horizontal. So what I might do is turn that phone around. There we go, and I will. Just bear with me a second while I do this. I might switch that. Just talk amongst yourselves. Do, do, do. All right, here we go. So if you have an Android, you'll find this interesting. You can't use it, but there's so many options out there. This is just the one that I use. And uh, I haven't really found any that are both Android and iOS. And normally when I talk about apps, I try as hard as I can to make sure that it's just as relevant to you. But uh, if you have an iPhone, this is this is my favorite. I, I love it. Okay, so I've opened up the photo in here. Uh, first thing you can do is uh, drag the corners. Okay, oh yes, that's right. So you can extend the frame. So I can go down there, okay, because when I mirror it, you know, if I mirror that in the halfway point, it's going to be halfway through that spoon head, and it's going to look weird. But I want to, what I want to do is, is actually have it mirrored uh, halfway down that plate. So I want to create some space. So I'm creating extra canvas there. So I'll drag, whoop, drag as far as it'll let me. Done. Okay. And look at that. That's so cool, isn't it? <laughs> um, all right. I'm just having a look at my YouTube, and it looks like it's still horizontal. It's okay. All right. Might be a delay. All right, oh, there we go. So we're catching up now. All right, so with your with your finger on the screen, you can just drag it, and you can drag it to where you want. So I want it to just kind of get just above that, like that there, maybe just a slight bit more, and then presets. So you can choose all different types. We're going to go for a water preset, and I can change. There we go. That looks that looks pretty good, and then we can edit it, and we can change the amount of uh, ripples. We can well, let's just do it. Change the ripples. Bit too much. Just go with with that. Blur, blur it out. That's cool. Fade. What does that do? Okay, so we can see through the water. You know how a lot of times when you when you're close to a rock pool, uh, a tidal pool, you can see close to you, and then as you get further where there's more reflections of the clouds, uh, more polarizing light, then you can't actually see under the water. But here we we might be able to. So we could just add a little bit. There we go. All right. And I love and I love this one fog. I'm digressing here, but this is symmetry. I guess it's still symmetry. Uh, and then fog, you can add you can add some some fog in the midway point. <laughs> that that that's awesome for for landscape shots. I did one of these uh, years ago, and it was at the zoo where I had uh, the uh, a lion uh, just crouching on the ground, and um, and I think it was I, don't, I can't remember what it was doing, but it had its head down. And so what I did was I used this app. And then I made it look like that it was actually crouching down at the edge of water. And one of the things I like about this app is that, if I bring it back up again, down the bottom here we have mask. 
So with the mask, you can go and you can swipe the areas where you don't want this reflection. So I was able to create with that with that one. I was able to create. Let's get rid of that fog. That's that's really weird now. <laughs> uh, edit fog. Get rid of the fog. There we go. That's gone. And mask. So yeah, with that one, I was able to go around the edges. Use a soft one and go around the edges and I made it look like where I wanted the edge of the water to be. It was so much fun and that's what it's about. Who cares whether it's made up and, and all that sort of thing. It's just being creative. It's about having fun with it. All right, so that's how that's how you can do it with, with, with an app is you can just mirror it. And there's a lot of, like I said, our um, Google Play Store and the App Store have got thousands upon thousands of different apps this is the one I use for uh, the iPhone, Reflect by Brain Fever Media. With the Android, just have a play around. There's going to be lots of them there. Uh, okay, all right. Now, with reflections, I know this one's not, not uh, perfectly symmetrical, but I really like it. <laughs> this was a photo that I took of my daughter in London, and this was a real puddle. I didn't have, I didn't have a gallon <laughs> of water, um, so this was a real puddle, and... When you're taking reflection shots like this and you have symmetry, although you can see this is not symmetry, it's not perfectly weighted, but I want to use this, this reflection shot as an example. When you do go for a reflection symmetry and you've got both sides kind of mirrored in the half there, when you have, it's depending on what's there, that can be strong enough and that can be something you go, that's really cool, that's aesthetically pleasing, you've got these, this, 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 TikTok, all the, taking heaps of tools out of all the toolboxes in the four-step system then something in the center, just this is where centered is another compositional technique. If you have your visual anchor in the center, then that symmetry, it doesn't matter that your fixation point is in the middle of the frame because there's nowhere for it to go because it's identical either way. So you don't know which way to go. So it can make that, that uh, compositional technique of centered so much stronger when you stack that on top of symmetry. Does that make sense? This is what my system is all about, is that you go through the toolboxes and you go, I'll have a bit of that, bit of that, bit of that, okay. Uh, setting up the subject, setting up the subject, I want uh, Ella in the middle of the frame because I want it to be all about her. Okay, what else can I do inside this toolbox of setting up, positioning the camera? Position the camera so that we have perfectly perfect symmetry on either side. So position myself in the halfway point, not closer to the one one side where I, where it's kind of out of balance because then you have to factor in space and all that sort of thing to create that balance. But if I position myself in the center as well as, as Allah in the center, then I can create that symmetry. See where I'm going with that? So that, that that's what I love about this, this uh, Stronger Photo Composition course that I put together, this four-step system, is that after you apply these, it becomes intuitive. It does. It just, you don't have to think about it anymore. And that's, that's, that's the outcome. That's one of the three top outcomes of the course is that you can see this scenario and go, okay, there's a puddle there, you're in the center, and then all these other things just just subconsciously just happen. They're, they're, um, you don't need to make these decisions. All right, so that's that one. Uh, what else did I want to cover? Just have a real quick look. If, these, if you're catching these on the replays and you're just missing me each time or it's the wrong time of the day, uh, let me know. Let me know, and um, I'll see if I've got some some wriggle room, and I might turn up and do these evening, or I might mix it up to morning and evening. Just let me know in the comment. All right, just have a quick look. What else did I have here? So tomorrow I'm going to talk about a different type of symmetry. I'm going to talk about spiral symmetry, which is you know your typical spiral, but I'm going to talk about something else as well that most people don't talk about, and that is radial balance. <clears throat> it's kind of closely aligned. I could have put them down as two separate uh, techniques inside the course, but I've put, I, I think they're, they're both pretty, pretty similar, so I've just put them together. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, simplicity. So yeah, that's, 